good. I'll make you the beauty picture together. Come on. One, two, smile. Good one. Ruben Ostland, who previously tackled such satirical subjects as an avalanche and force majeure and personal turmoil in the square, turns his cinematic irony to motion sickness in the new film Triangle of Sadness. Now, obviously, that is not the central theme of the film, which takes audiences into the world of the beautiful and rich, skewering their privilege and entitlement. But his visualization of what can happen to patrons on a boat when the waters turn turbulent creates some of the most frenetic moments of queasiness that has ever been captured on film. It might be a good idea not to eat before you go to the theater. The film initially introduces us to a somewhat couple, Carl, played by Harris Dickinson, and Yaya, Charles B. Dean, two fashion models who are keenly aware of the privileges of social media and the money and fame it can provide. When they accept the perk of a free cruise, little do they know that their new immersion into the world of the super rich, those who have gained wealth from selling everything from manure to hand grenades, will place them on a perilous voyage, which includes communist manifestos, pirates, explosions, a shipwreck, starvation, and of course something every good satire needs, the bartering of sex for shelter. Luckily, none of those obstacles presented themselves on the red carpet for the film as it premiered at the 75th annual Cannes Film Festival. Led by ship captain Woody Harrelson, who got away without wearing a tie to the traditionally black tie-only event, there was a heavy contingent of the film's cast, including scene stealer Dolly De Leon, who plays toilet manager Abigail turned castaway captain. Amongst the other special guests spotted in the crowd were Carla Bruni, Maureen Deltume, Florian Zeller, and Ethan Hawke. 